What's up guys, welcome back to Among the Fence. I am your host Aaron. Today we're going to be talking about the new single, The Canary, by Protest the Hero. Protest the Hero is a Canadian progressive metal band. They started about 2001 and they have five studio albums. Here's a random fact. Protest the Hero used to be called like Happy Go Lucky or something like that back in 2001 until they came out with their very first EP and that's when they came out with the name Protest the Hero, which is... Which is agreeably a lot better. Protest the Hero is a fairly technical band. It's been a long time since I listened to all of their albums, but I remember Fortress was probably my favorite one, even though I think it might be a lot lower on some people's list. For some reason, it just jived with me a little bit more. My knowledge of the band isn't all that great, but I think that majority of their albums follow each other really well. They're all pretty concepty in their own right, but I believe if you listen to them like one after another, they all piece together like perfectly. And I believe a year or maybe a year and a half ago, I think it was, Roddy Walker ended up blowing out his vocal cords. So this is the first song in the first musical performance he's put on since then. I'm pretty sure it's taken him like a year and a half to heal or something like that. It's been a, it's, it's been a long time. And so I was kind of nervous, not really nervous, but more curious about how he was going to perform on this album, especially since they do get kind of growly in the vocals. Even though he didn't distort his voice at all during this song, I will say that this is one of the best vocal performances he's put on. And it's not to downplay any of his older stuff, but man, it is right on par with all of his best work. And I'm probably going to say his name wrong, but Mikey Yardy is a phenomenal drummer. And the one thing I like about him is in the intro, he gets all crazy and he's just amazing drum passages and then once we get to the verse he plays more this kind of punk metal style drum passage and it fits the music very well especially like the kind of more choppy vocals that are going on but then he isn't afraid to amp it up again during the interludes and especially on the bridge and if you're familiar with protest the hero you would assume that the production on this album is phenomenal which it is so you can hear all the guitar parts crystal clear and it points they even sound like they're lasers. They're just so zoomy and flashy. There's even some synthetic instruments added in there, probably from a keyboard, that adds a lot of depth to the song and fills in some of the empty crevices that are just laying underneath. It adds kind of a different texture to it. It makes some parts seem very epic, especially in the chorus. Speaking of the chorus, oh my gosh, it's got such a catchy hook with such catchy lyrics and it's just so freaking catchy. <clears throat> This is definitely going to be a song that when the chorus comes on and you're listening to it in your car, you're going to be screaming it to your steering wheel. But if you're going to sing the rest of the song in your car, especially the verses and the bridge and stuff, it's going to get kind of weird. I'm pretty sure there's some sort of backstory that I'm just really clueless about right now, but the opening lyrics are, I was named after my grandmother's and tradition of my family. I was born after my stillborn sister. Again, it's not bad and it does tell a story and the rest of it all seems to be very like historically placed, but like I said, it, it gets kind of weird. The outro says, women must pay for everything. They get more glory than men for comparable tasks. They also get more notoriety when they crash. And Protest the Hero isn't really known for having conventional lyrics at all, but after the first time of listening to this song without looking at the lyrics or anything at all, I was really, really confused. This is like, what? the heck is he even saying right now even if you don't enjoy the lyrics all that much still the vocal performance from roddy is again just phenomenal it's so good much better than what i was expecting considering i heard his vocal cords like i said like a year and a half ago he's doing great and like i said before the verses has a very punkish drum feel to it. a lot of snare and it's kind of choppy, but the vocals match it perfectly with just how choppy it is. So with all that said, I gotta give The Canary by Protest the Hero a 4.5 out of 5. The music is phenomenal all out. It's very technical, but again, it's very pleasing to the ears. It's not way over the top. It's not too hard for everything to be processed and heard at the same time. Drums are flawless. The synth adds just amazing textures underneath everything. Vocal performance is great. The lyrics are weird, but they kind of tell like this. Like I said, it feels like a historical story and it's a great song. But I want to know what you guys think. If you've listened to The Canary, go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of the song. If you haven't listened to it yet, 
Give it a listen and let me know what you would rate it. And Protest the Hero has some pretty freaking diehard fans, so I'm pretty interested to see what you guys have to say too. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you get notified when I do upload, that way you don't miss out. I hope you guys are all having a great day, you're staying safe, and I will talk to you guys next time. I was